Alright everybody, thanks for joining us again on this LP, the ECW Umbrella Chronicles. Thank you for showing up, Ron Moore. How's it going? Yeah, I barely showed up. Uh, well, I'm still here. Uh, now, you're not going to flag this video and give us a third copyright strike, are you? No, I'm not that kind of person or whatever. Okay, that's good. Because this is uh, copyright free anyway. So. Yes. This ain't even my footage. I mean, I recorded it, but it's not my game. I mean, I didn't yeah. come up with the game. No, yeah, Mexico owns the copyrights to Resident Evil Umbrella Chronicles. In the 1947 NFL Championship game. Yeah. For some, I got copyrights to that, but somehow I did. No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so now we're still in. Okay, you're still playing as Jill and Chris Redfield yeah. for Resident Evil 1, right? Yeah, we're, we're finishing up the Resident Evil 1 saga right here. Well, pretty much, or whatever. We got another chapter with Wesker coming up, hint, hint. But this ends the chapter of Resident Evil 1 pretty much right here. Okay, uh, Albert Whisker. Gilbert Whisker. Whoa, Reports water. in the principal's office. I know, before when I first seen this, I was like, this looks like gas. I don't know. And I was like, oh, no, never mind. It looks like water. And somebody forgot to feed sharks, so they're pissed off. Angry sharks. Angry yeah, there's something in the right water, alright. Oh man, we're Samuel Jackson. He could help us. No, never mind. It didn't end too well for him. <laughs> water. 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 Whoa. That shark's not playing around. What's going on? It's Shark Boy. Shell, yeah. Shark Boy 316 said, I don't know. I remember I first seen that gimmick. I, I forgot like, what he said. Uh, shark Boy, what does it say? Shark, shark Boy 316 says, I just. I forgot. I don't know. Somebody, please, in the comments, as always, post what he said. That was so long ago in TNA, I remember that. I'm sure, uh, what's his name? Uh, I forgot his YouTube name. He knows a lot about wrestling. He'll probably post a comment. He'll know exactly. Uh oh, oh shoot. Watch out. Oh no. We're being attacked by the by the A Super by Metroid the boss. Oh no. This is what happens people when you don't cut your weeds. They get really <laughs> big and turn on yeah. you. I'm in the weeds. I need help. Help Then you get big old holes in your house and you're wondering, oh god. Yeah. Yeah. I gotta go to Home Depot. Yeah. Home Depot. Home Depot. A word from our sponsor, Home Depot. Yeah. Open. Oh, open, copyright open. strike when you get permission to say Home Depot. Uh oh. What is we'll that just have thing? to blank it out. Yeah. Like like destroy Look Home. Out. It's a spore spawn from Super Metroid. Oh no. We're gonna die. Of course we're gonna die. We're gonna live. No. Wait. Hopefully. Alright, Claire Panker. You're not gonna die. Ah! Dies. When this week on when plants attack. Sure, it's dangerous. Got it. You better be careful too. Ooh. The plan is done. Oh, Peter Flagger video. You're destroying uh, uh, that beautiful yeah. plant. Don't you guys only care about animals? This is a plant man <laughs> drinking the mutagen from Ninja Turtles 2 in order to become freaking super plant man or whatever he turns into super plant man skabab skabab after fighting off an arm I can't do Wesker's uh I can't either 
accident. Chris and Jill. It should have been Jack. Ah. Jack and Jill <laughs> stumbled upon a hill. Underground research facility. There was no doubt that Wesker was here. The two carefully descended down into the darkness, not knowing what lurked below. Something big was going down here. I got a bad feeling about this. Be careful. Uh oh. Uh oh. I'm afraid I've got some bad news. Got some bad news too. I'm about to shoot their heads off. Yeah. Stand still. Oh. Uh, oh. Just shot my head off. Zombie yeah. wrong or Our RIP headphone users. We're Actually, sorry. Uh, Zombie lawnmower, just a zombie riding on, riding on a John Deere lawnmower. Whoa. I don't know, that's something that uh, maybe Vince McMahon's new ECW would think of something like that. That's a great idea! Nope, it's <laughs> not. Well, the Mexicals. Yeah, that was something else. And yeah. To, uh, that was something else. I remember when they first came out, I was like, um, not sure what to say about this. I thought it was funny. <laughs> Oh, you're racist, Ronnie. You know, my friend Venom22 is Mexican. He thought it was freaking funny. He loved the Mexicals. The Mexicals were all good. I mean, they were a good trio of wrestlers all put together in that stable. It worked out pretty well. I remember uh, uh, Hoover 2 did a promo. You know, the Grinkles say that we lacy and we fat. And you know what? They're right. <laughs> He talks about how we, we need to improve and rise above the Gringos. Let's hurry. I'll give him one thing though. Yeah, out of the three of them, of course, he's the best at cutting promos or whatever. Yeah, super crazy and psychosis didn't talk too much. Yeah, they're, they're, you know their main language, of course, is Spanish or whatever. But when they would, you know, gotta or, give it up to who, but you yeah. have those promos. Or psychosis in Me Mexico. Mexico, one eight seven. Conan's finish oh, move. The 187. Yeah. Which way will we go? Which way will we go? Dude, which way did he go? Which way did he go? Screw it, we're oh. gonna go this way. What is that right there? Let off some steam, Bennett. Whoosh, whoosh. I can imagine a uh, rail shooter. Based off the movie Commando, that'd be cool. Ooh. You're a funny guy, Mexico. I like you. That's why I'm gonna kill you last. Nice. Seems about All right. right. Oh. Gen 2's asleep right now. Don't disturb my friend. He's dead tired. Oh, well, better to be dead tired than just dead. Yeah. Uh, someone told me a story one time where this guy was so sick that he drank a whole bottle of NyQuil just to feel better and knock himself out. He was like asleep for three days straight. And his wife got scared and called 911 and they had to revive him. Oh, wow. Yeah, uh, even one day is a long time, but three yeah. days? I, I can't imagine. I mean, lucky to be alive downing a whole bottle of NyQuil. What was he thinking? He was thinking about going to sleep and waking up uh, free from a cold, but he's lucky he woke up. Oh, ouch. A sneak attack. Uh oh, what's this? Aliens? That alien rail shooter. Rail gun shooter. We've just transferred from Resident Evil to Alien. Yeah. Thank you for joining us on the Aliens Umbrella Chronicles. I would still would love to see a Walking Dead railgun shooter. Not me! Not my! What's this? Mick Foley's boiler room? Mankind's boiler room? Yeah, we're just passing through. Remember when uh, he was... I think he, uh, yeah, he beat up Sergeant Slaughter, Pat Patterson, Joe Briscoe in the boiler room? Oh, God. I, yeah, whenever I think of a boiler room, that's what I think of. Yeah. They couldn't find it at first, so they were scared to go down there or whatever it was. Jerry Briscoe goes, Mr. Matt Man, I, uh, I couldn't, no, Pat Patterson goes, I couldn't find the boiler room. I couldn't find the boiler room. This place is huge. 
And Vince goes, you couldn't find the boiler room? You couldn't find your ass. And Briscoe goes, I know where it's at, Mr. Mike Mayan. And Vince goes, he's sitting on it. Is that what you mean? Uh, no, sir. I'm talking about the boiler room. <laughs> then he finds the boiler room. He comes back. Well, I found the boiler room, and there was weird, weird noises going on down there, and it kind of frightened me. I didn't go in. And Sergeant Slaughter goes, Briscoe, you're such a wuss. Hey, don't call me a wuss. You're a wuss. Why didn't you bring him up here? There's weird noises going on down there. And then Sergeant Slaughter goes, I'll bring him back. He comes back all scared, not doing anything either. So they all go down there with riot gear on, helmets and whatever. And Mankind still beats all three of them up. Another win for Mankind. Yeah. Oh, no. One small step for Man. One giant leap for Mankind. Indeed. One giant leap for Mick Foley. One giant leap from the Hardcore Division to the WWF title. Yeah. around the corner. I'm so paranoid. Oh no. Oh shoot. Everybody just hangs up on this. Alright, you get him. Alright. If you don't get him, I'll get him. If I don't yeah, get him, yeah. somebody else will get him. If they were smart, they would all just gang up on us. Whoops. Yeah. They... Well, they're zombies. They're not exactly smart. Uh oh, the video got flagged by Zombie Nation. Huh, yeah. We find that offensive, Ron Mower, about zombies. Zombies yeah. have done. Do really? Let me follow a counterclaim and give the claimant my personal information. A zombie wouldn't even know what to do with it. Yeah. They'll trap me down, and, and that's how that's yeah. how he finds. Ooh, that's how he eats me. Oh, wait a minute. Do you got a fairy? Yep, you got Magic a fairy. Spray. Yeah. Magic spray. Oh, oh. That guy's I'm sure that guy's headache is gone now. Yeah. I remember after Glenn was killed in The Walking Dead, someone made a meme for a commercial for Excedra Migraine, and it showed him standing there, and it says, Ever have a splitting headache as if someone bashed your brains in with a barbed wire baseball bat? Well, I have. I know how it feels. Try Excedra Migraine to feel better or something like that. <laughs> Ow. That's nice. <laughs> Ooh. And that was a word from our sponsor. He just kicked him through the wall. You see that? Yeah, that was... That was, uh... Yeah, I don't know what to say about that. <laughs> I remember the last part. Home. He kicked someone so hard, he kicked him up the stairs. It's like, you're, I'm gonna kick you up the stairs. <sighs> yeah. Oh, time to let off some steam. Bought this game now on Steam. Shameless plug. Shoot out all the lights and save this place a bunch of electricity. Yeah. I've just saved a bunch. I've just saved a bunch of money on my car insurance by switching to. Nope. Never mind. Right. Yeah. Forget them. I went progressive. Ooh. Shots. Oh, what is this? Shinobi three stage three. Yeah, they had to get it from somewhere. Oh, oh Wesker taking his insulin. Uh oh. Yes, folks, diabetes is real thing. Tyrant, what is this thing? Chris, you make me proud. Wesker? What? Tonight what? was an excellent Wesker just turned hill? On Umbrella's biological weaponry. Or was it that he was always ill? He was just pretending to be a baby face. You set the team up. Swerve. Excellent deduction, Jill. Oh, the that stars are just banned, anyway. just like the shield. However, I don't need them anymore. The Who dares wake me from my slumber? Tyrant. Is this the boss of Resident Evil 1? It's yeah. Beautiful. Just an high definition graphic. You know, it looks Whoa. a little different. Into. Uh, ouch. Well, if that was a crane game, I would say he won. He won a prize. And he doesn't want it. I don't blame him. <laughs> His own creation turned on him. 
Oh my god. He turned heel. So who's the heel here? Well, Wait a minute, well, his boss Chris. looks familiar. Didn't you find him in part three or something? Or is no, no, no. never mind. How could they keep so it's like a, it's a, oh, with Rebecca, a different yeah. Prototype, it's like a different prototype. Yeah, it's like a prototype. Oh, okay. Similar. And all else fails. Throw a grenade. Blow stuff up. Wow, that was too easy. Well, I guess that's the end of this of LP. Now. Oh, wait. It's not. Make sure he's dead. Like the angry videos that Nate Nerd says, this is the end. Or is it? Yeah. <laughs> Yay, we're scot free. We just gotta get to the helicopter. Oh no. Kermit the Frog's attacking us. Yeah, Kermit the Frog. He's all buffed up. Yeah. Gee, I don't know if I could defeat these guys. Well, you better do oh. it, Kermit! Well, Gen 2, Ron Moore didn't do a Chris LP, but I did. Yeah. But it wasn't on Resident Evil 1. Well, you know, it's Umbrella Crown, so it kinda is. Yeah, we're here. Hello? Hello? Get to the chopper! Yeah. Get to the chopper! Come on, I'm here! Kill me now! Come on! Do it! Do it now! Shoot the lights out. It's still... Who shot all the lights? Oh, wait. Shot to the heart! And you're to blame. You give this game a bad name. And now they're like, no, we get this video on copyright strike. No. Uh, strike no. three. Rest in peace, SD2K. Hopefully not. If that happens, we're taking YouTube with us. Well, not really, but... I would like to. We'll just honest. come back as zombie S two K, just like these guys. <laughs> come back. Oh, that is guys just spitting all over the place. Leave me alone, Resident please, YouTube, please. the S two K archives or chronicles. I know, isn't there like an Armac archive that somebody did or something? Armac, yeah, yeah. That was pretty cool. Hey, somebody better do that for us. Yeah, really. If you're listening, please try to archive our videos. It's not that we're too lazy, too. It's just that... Yeah, that's the answer. We, we gotta get to the top of the ladder. Grab the championship yeah. and we win. Frogs allowed. Get away from me. Get away from me. When all else fails, just grab the baddest gun in your arsenal. Shoot everyone. Oh, Rebecca. Rebecca, we're getting out of here. All right. But the team. We have to save that for later. To be continued. Let's get moving. What will happen next week on this Resident Evil Umbrella Chronicles, the soap. This way, we can radio Brad for help. Dun dun dun. Now who's Brad? Brad is somebody that Jeff cosplayed a while back ago. Now he's a helicopter pilot. Oh, okay. Although that fact is true though. Man, that's not the helicopter pilot that crashed the helicopter in Resident Evil Survivor, is it? I hope not, because that guy definitely crashed in the helicopter. How does this guy still have a job? Ooh, launch pad? Oh, wait. Oh, no. He's back. What? Oh, man. 
I gotta say this boss battle is pretty disappointing. Three, two, Persistent one. one isn't he? Shoot him in the chest. Shoot, 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 shoot. We didn't shoot, come shoot, this shoot. far to die now. We need to take him out. It's not working. It must have a weakness. Shoot him what with the bag now. <laughs> uh, how about his heart? Well, I guess they... I guess they did it. Uh, I guess he didn't have the heart. Yeah. He didn't have the heart to take us out. It's the end. Or is it? No, it's not. We're almost getting there. After this, we'll have Resident Evil oh. 2. Well, they went out with a bang. Oh, they went out with the bang, just like you two. Oh. No! Don't go! <laughs> That's my favorite line of all time in Resident Evil. It was near I'll make that like when somebody texts. No! The don't go! Oh, somebody just said. Wait a second. Except for Chris, I thought he was dead. How is he still chronicling this? Stars were wiped out. Dun, dun, dun. You'll have to tune in next mansion. week. Find out. For a brief moment, I felt or I could just tell you right now. But I'm not going to. Uh, yeah, no, don't spoil it. This too was part of the plan. Nobody was aware of it, but I had been reborn. Whoa. I cast off my frail humanity and became something greater. Ooh. Oh, that's not mysterious at all. No, oh, not whoa. at all. Got a good ranking there. I know, I actually, I actually paid attention this time. <laughs> yeah. One. Dun, dun, dun. No, I just copied off the guy next to me. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, thank you for checking out this part of the Resident Evil Umbrella Chronicles on the ST2K channel, and have a good night. Right. Our God day. Bless. Take care. Till next time.